Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. Today I am going to talk about bore cooling. But before talking about bore cooling, the first question which is asked is that why bore cooling required? Means why suddenly the bore cooling com concept has come into the market and why the manufacturer has employed the bore cooling? So basically what happened that as the power of the in engine increases, the stress on the cylinder liner also increases and therefore to withstand that stress the liner thickness need to be increased so what happened basically that as we are as the means power demand means power demand for driving the ship increases the engine need to be made for high power to make the engine high power we have to make material more powerful so that it can withstand the stress which is going to be developed because of the generation of the high power so therefore to accommodate that stress the liner thickness was increased okay but as the liner thickness was increased the rate of heat removal by the water circulating inside the jacket decreases so basically what do i mean by mean by that that as i have told you with increase in power demand the stress is increased and therefore the liner thickness is been increased but as the liner thickness is been increased the removal of heat means the rate at which the heat is removed by the circulating water is been decreased why because as you know as the thickness increases the distance of the water from the liner surface inside the liner inside the combustion space decrease increases and therefore the removal rate of heat is decreasing so with less removal of heat causing the oil lubricant to burn excessive wear rate and increase thermal stressing so as the liner thickness is increased therefore the heat cannot be removed as quickly as it was removed earlier so which causing the lubricant to burn means basically what happened if the lubricant temperature inside the cylinder liner is more than 190 degrees celsius at that time it will start to burn okay and moreover as you know that if there is no lubrication between the piston and the liner space basically boundary lubrication or take place if there is no lubrication then the wear rate will increase at a very much rapid rate and thermal stressing what do you mean by thermal stressing means the stress which is being generated because of the high combustion and high temperature condition which is been established inside the combustion space to overcome all this thing we have employed bore cooling method by employing the bore cooling method we are removing the heat at a much faster rate so now let's see what is bore cooling and after that i will show you how different manufacturer have employed the bore cooling method so as you can see basically what is happening that as the engine power is increased i have told you the thickness of the liner is increased earlier in my earlier video i have told you that in lower powered engine the liner thickness was uniform from top to bottom but in modern engine the liner thickness is thick at the top and slimmer at the bottom means the thickness is not uniform it is changing depending upon the operating condition basically the combustion take place on the top part of the liner so therefore the top part is subjected to higher stress higher hoop higher stress and to accommodate that the flange size thickness liner is provided on top okay so to provide cooling in this condition we are using bore cooling method so what we are doing in bore cooling method hole are bored from under side of the liner flange at an upward angle so that they can approach the internal surface of liner at a tangent means what we are doing 
that this is the cooling water jacket space the water is coming and as it approaches here a hole is been drilled such that it move in upward direction and as it is moving upward direction as we can see the water is moving close to the liner wall surface and after that it is moving readily outward direction so hole are then bore readily around the top of the liner so that they can join with the tangential board hole okay so like this the water is flowing from here then upward drilling hole is provided in a tangent direction so that it can be make water can be made closer to the liner surface and after that is it readily outward direction that the hole are made so that it can exit and come out so this is how the bore cooling is provided in the liner by doing so we are bringing the water close to the liner wall surface and we are removing the heat at a much faster rate as compared to the simpler model okay so as you can see in the direction these are the hole this is really means this is the hole which are drilled in tangents in direction after that it is coming outward in this direction means it is going in this way and then it's coming out in this way it is going in this way and coming out in this way okay now let me let us see the diagram this is the thickness of this is a liner and this as you can see here the thickness has been tapered and this is the water jacket this the water is getting inside this is a jacket area provided for liner cooling and after that this is the two o-ring with a telltale hole okay now let's see the soldier has employed <coughs> the bore cooling method and in soldier what is happening basically the water is inlet is from here and after that it is flowing and then the bore cooling method is employed water is flowing and then bore cooling method is employed and water is passed and then after it is exiting from here and going out okay now one more thing i want to tell you <coughs> that excessive cooling in the lower part of liner may cause cold corrosion what is cold corrosion i will cover in my next video in cylinder liner here but to uh, prevent the cold corrosion basically in lower part an insulation is provided which is called haramaki in soldier so it is like this means a coating which is provided a insulation to prevent cold corrosion in the lower part of the liner mistook insulation is provided from here to here to prevent cold corrosion okay now let's see how man bmw is employed man bmw basically has employed the bore cooling method by a different way what they have done they have inserted a steel tube here okay and as you can see this is the liner surface this is liner surface so basically the water is flowing from here and it is filling up the space means this steel tube space and after that it is overflowing and uh, coming back and then going up in soldier what is doing happening the water is flowing here and then going out and then it has been taken here but here what is happening the water is getting inside it is filling up the space and then overflowing from that point and coming out and then going upward so steel tube inserted into the blind hole drilled close to the liner surface in man bmw engine and in lower part transition pipe is provided okay transition pipe is provided to prevent excessive cooling so that cold corrosion doesn't occur and in uh, larger in smaller engine this is been the cooling in the lower part is almost omitted so that to avoid cold corrosion okay so i hope i have uh, made you understand let's see what i have written here larger two stroke man bmw engine employed bore cooling method but here bore are not 
tangential drill as i have told you instead of that blind hole are drill okay and then steel tube are inserted as i have told you a hole is been drilled and after that this steel tube like this is inserted in that okay water flow through this steel inserted tube and overflow down the bore thus removing the heat and cooling the liner man bmw employed transition pipe to pass water to the cylinder head from liner moreover as i have told you here as you can see this is transition pipe provided in the lower part also the transition pipe is provided on the top also the same method is employed on top to travel the water from liner to cylinder head so by this method by using transition pipe and by using a blind hole and steel tube the bore cooling method is been employed in man bmw engine okay i hope you have understand please do like subscribe my video and please watch the next video which is about cylinder liner okay and please do like and subscribe and image it go to marine diesel thank you friend